All right, we're checking out the only game where the Earth telling us that it's lonely is literally the worst thing it ever could have said. It's Universe Sandbox. The Earth is lonely, not for long. So the plan here is I want to add planets to the orbit of the Earth over and over again, increasing them as time goes on and find out what that does to the different composition and surface temperatures and everything like that of the home planet. Now, before we begin, we obviously need a baseline. And so we're gonna start with something that's not very big. Uh, let's see here, orbit, and uh, yeah, why not? We'll choose Mars. Now, this, is a, this is a delicate, this is a delicate thing I'm about to do here because we need to make sure that it's orbiting the Earth, but I also wanna make sure that it doesn't just immediately murder everyone. So where does the orbit stop? Yeah, yeah, right about, uh, let's go right about here. Right at, right at, right at this, right at this grid. Perfect. All right, go ahead and speed things up over here and see what happens. Now Earth has a lovely friend you can see. They're having a good time. Mars is chilling out. Uh, seems okay. Let a few days go by. Average temperature is okay. It's dropping, but that's all right. We're just, we're moving into uh, Canadian season up here, okay? So this, this honestly isn't a big deal. I wonder if Mars is any nicer now that it's kind of in the Goldilocks zone. Average temperature at minus 100 degrees Celsius. It's warming up. I think what's happening is the coldness from Mars, see, is leaching over to Earth. <laughs> Look at that right there. The two temperatures are stabilizing each other. Incredible. Is there like any life likelihood on Mars? No. <laughs> Has the life likelihood gone up on Earth? No, there's always a good chance that everyone on Earth can't figure out how to survive the reason that the game did that is because it's completely realistic. That is true. I'm gonna throw some stats over here just to kind of see if anything unusual is happening. What's the temperature like in Florida? 15 degrees Celsius, looks good. Actually, that's probably kind of cold for us. Okay, so, so far, one planet orbiting the Earth, no big deal. All right, let's throw, uh, let's throw Mercury in there, but let's put it a little bit closer. Let's, let's put it like right, uh, Right here, that looks good. And this, they don't, this isn't gonna run into Mars, is it? Oh boy. Oh, the orbits are getting kind of weird. <laughs> oh no. Oh God. <laughs> oh no. We had our very first collision. Um, you can see Mars and I'd, maybe you can see the fragmentation that used to be Mercury. I'm not really sure where it is now. Mars, how you doing over there? Mars is like, not great, okay? I'm bleeding a lot. So obviously we are going to have to, wow, oh, wow, 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 that wow. ain't good. In case anyone's wondering if Mars and Mercury get into a head on collision, I'm pretty sure Mars wins because Mars is still mostly in one piece. <gasps> this is Mercury somewhere in there, right about there <laughs> is Mercury. Okay. Well, excuse me. I just need to get the, uh, the earth to move past the gigantic debris field. There we are. All right, so we're gonna start wide again. Mars, orbit, maximum distance, Mercury, orbit, closer. How about that? You guys okay with that? All right, we'll go ahead and think long here. Why do I feel like everyone's gonna end up insta-dying again? Oh, uh, we got a problem. I'm pretty sure Mercury just ran into Earth. Earth? How you doing, man? Earth's like, well, it's 797 degrees for the average ambient temperature, so not great. The planet itself is also boiling, and all of the water has immediately evaporated. In case you're wondering, maybe like, hey, did that kill every single person on Earth? Yep, sure did. Okay, what I've learned from this is the planets that we're using are way too big. I need like an, another Earth, but like really tiny. Hold on. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead, and we're going to use an Earth, and then we're going to manipulate it. We're going to make it sad. I'm not really sad, just small. All right, so put an Earth in here. You know, whatever. I'll put it like this, but then grab it. Radius, small, 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 small. There we are. All right, how, how does this do? Look at that. Everyone's having a good time on super tiny Earth. How big is this? Right now, we're just doing like Earth radiuses. It's only like 400 <laughs> kilometers for the radius. You currently have a 0.167% chance to live on super tiny Earth, uh, even though it's 50% like Earth. Tiny, sad Earth, like an Earthlet. There we go. All right, we've got our Earthlet. It's doing very well. 
Now let us add many more. All right, we'll put another one here. Now do these two intersect one another? Are they gonna end up blowing everything up? Or, or are we okay? Are we gonna, are we going to live in harmony? Looks like everyone currently is living in harmony. That's what I like to see. Put another one right, uh, right here. There we go. Yes. All right. Now we're doing good. Let us, let's just go straight up to five. I'm gonna go with five. So one, two, three, four, five. Looking good. Everyone's revolving around the most important planet in the entire universe. I'm no longer lonely. How do the people of the planet feel? Has it killed everyone? No. It's killed 0.1% of the population, as a matter of fact. Greenhouse effect is still going strong. <laughs> That's nice. Now, if you notice, having all of these other planets here, uh, not doing very much to the, to the temperature of the Earth. I think it's fine. In fact, things are going so well that I'm going to allow the tiny, sad Earthlet to grow up. I'll put another one, I don't know, like here. But this time, we're going to go ahead and increase the size. How big is the moon? Uh, about five times bigger. Yeah, there we go. We'll just kind of... There we go. Almost moon-sized. Perfect. Earthlet's older brother. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's perfect. This is working out so well. Everyone is okay. No one's fighting. Okay, some people are starting to fight. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> this could end up becoming very, very bad. I think I think we're about to... Oh, nope. Hold on. No impact. It's, it's, it's gone. It was close. It was almost real bad, but I, I think we dodged a bullet. We did lose one Earth. One of the Earths is gone. A few of the other Earths are having a family dispute. They are starting to fight now. I think this is what happens when I put the larger Earth on the outside. All right, what we're gonna do is we're kind of stuck at five. So we're gonna go ahead and bring this up to 10. There we go. All right. The, uh, the orbit, the, the, the rings of this onion are about to get very, very ridiculous. There is, there is a very close, very good chance that someone's going to end up getting murdered in this inner familial ring that's going on right here. These are all the smaller Earths. Kind of the farther away they get, the more they grow up. Hold on, we, 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 remember the one Earth that left the family? They ran out of money, okay? They, they, were gonna, they were gonna go, I don't know what they were gonna do. They were gonna become a, oh no! Oh God. What happened over here? Stop fighting. <laughs> I was gonna say this this earth over here, you know, they went over to they went to be a writer or something like that. It just didn't work out. So they're coming home. I love that the one earth ran into another earth and it's currently 650 degrees Celsius. But it's still fine. I mean it's still rotating around the planet just 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 dandily. 10 is a little bit of chaos. Let's bump this up to 20, I guess. Alright, Earth's older brother. Don't make me don't make me regret this. Put one there, put one there, put one there. Oh no, I'm running out of space. Uh, put one there, put one, I don't know, there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and slow things down because I have a feeling that uh, it's about to get real bad. Now, if I if I turn off the uh, the orbiting views over here, you can see it's, uh, the parking garage is full around the Earth right now. We're only at like 20. You can always tell who's been in a fight because they're glowing. Now, Earth itself, even with all this stuff surrounding it, is doing totally fine. It may even have a better similarity than it started out with. Let me go ahead and speed things up a little bit here. You can see the orbits going completely insane at this point because all of the different Earths are like pulling themselves against one another. The average temperature on the Earth is dropping rather, rather heavily. The problem is if I go up to 40, I don't know if there's gonna be enough room for all these Earths to do anything. I love how every once in a while just a random fragment kind of gets into the orbits. Okay, no one's exploded yet. Oh, almost had a head-on collision right there. It was more like a side swipe, I guess. I went ahead and landed on Earth just to like, you know, look up at the solar system, see all the different planets. It's a mess. There's just other Earths everywhere. Oh, the minimum temperature is shooting up. During December almost, that's nice. Look at it go. Oh boy. I mean, I guess, I guess having this many friends is, uh... Oh no! We have a problem. So, we've got our first impact uh, from another planet directly to Earth. You can see right where it is, which is kind of like, uh, Australia. <laughs> the Earth! Life likelihood shooting right back up. 
All right, no big deal. The problem is all the other fragments are going to kind of swish around the earth and then impact at different sites on the planet. All right, Africa's good. They're fine, all right? Now, right over here where the hit was, oh, uh, you can see God. the shockwave of anguish that appeared from the impact site. Did it, did it really land right? Oh, oh no. Yeah, uh, Australia kind of got tickled by this right here. Don't worry though, I'm sure you guys are fine. The ambient temperature over there is only uh, 840 degrees Celsius. I will say the color patterns this is generating is really cool. All right, we need, we need way more planets. And pause things here. Earth's older brother. And uh, yeah, let's just go crazy. We're gonna, we're gonna have to pump this up. Three hours later. As I get closer to 50, I'm actually running out of space to find room in the orbit area. Like, look, there's, there's, there's so many other planets. Okay. Let me go ahead and just speed things up a little bit here. I took the orbit area off because what this is going to end up looking like is, oh no. It's going to look like a toilet bowl flushing. That's what's going to happen. The problem now is all the little earths that are blowing up with one another, all of their shards are going to be hitting at main earth. Okay, all the different fragments are just gonna be bump. Oh no, they're just gonna be bombarding the planet. This is about to look like a fireworks show because all over the place, it's like a shotgun blast of fragments flying out at 19 kilometers a second, okay? From the impact site. Lonely Earth, how's everyone doing over there? Uh, the impact site of death is growing. That's bad, it now encompasses half of the planet. On the plus side, there's still a 1% chance that everyone is okay. There's another explosion. This is really cool. It's like, all you have to do is just wait, and then there's another fireworks show happening. And they get like bigger every time. You can see a couple of Earths are trying to peace out. They're trying to leave the area. They're like, listen, we parked outside of the parking garage. We don't want to be involved in this. Yeah, get back in here, okay? There's so much going on right now. There we go. Yep, more explosions. Ring of death surrounding Earth. Looking good. Got another Earth getting too close. All right, may end up getting shot. There's Earth over here, not doing great either. It's just a, uh, a vortex of souls from the other Earths surrounding the I'm no longer lonely Earth. I'm no longer lonely still has a 0.5% chance of life likelihood, even though the average temperature on the planet is 2,400 degrees Celsius. What's funny is, We've gained more mass than we've lost from the impacts. So that's nice. The, the planet is growing. Well, that's probably bad. There, yep, there was another impact right over there. Someone just lost a bunch of, uh, of, of sad dust. Bye. Yep, there goes another explosion. Another two planets just collided. One planet came out as the victor, though. Uh, it's, it's larger than one quarter the size of Earth right now, which is pretty good. Like, if I pull back over here and I just kind of, like move things along a little bit faster. I feel like, I feel like it's only, yep. <laughs> oh, hey! Happy New Year, yay! There's slight likelihood. Shot way down, but now it's going back up. It's just total chaos over here. Like if you look at the entirety of the Zillar system, everyone's having such a good time. Everything's totally fine. And then you get over into the earth area and it's just a mess. It is just a giant debris field. No one's taking out the garbage. Okay, the recycling is not coming. More explosions over here. Life likelihood kind of bounced around from zero and not zero. Uh, could be any of those things at any given time. So here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, it's probably going to break the game, but I'm gonna go ahead and go from 100 to 200 things orbiting the Earth now. Let me clean all this up first. So... I put down a hundred of these. Um, I wish I was lonely again. I put down a hundred of these. I'm gonna go ahead and unpause uh, and speed time up a little bit. You don't really want to go too fast here because it's like a fleet of small Earths that's orbiting the original Earth, okay? Like you can see the, the trail of all of them following. Okay, we may have uh, a couple of planets that are intersecting over here. 
I gotta get the trails off. There's just too many. All right, everyone. We, we really only have a, a couple of, yeah. We only have a couple of moments here before the death parade starts. And there it begins. Yeah, we got fragments moving around at 27 kilometers a second now. Isn't that nice? It's getting faster. How long is the original planet going to survive, I wonder? Uh, because again, it's just going to be like constantly getting pelted by pebbles flying at like 30 kilometers a second, which isn't great for anyone's health. I'm gonna try and draw in a little bit closer here. I'll even see. Yep, there we go. Speed things up a little bit more. It's getting close, man. Everyone is getting very close. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, it missed. We're fine. Everything is okay. The cool part is, is that the family is mostly fighting amongst themselves, okay? This, this one just keeps on spewing stuff out. It just keeps like projectile vomiting. <laughs> if you notice, all the Earths are just vomiting out all of their mass. Isn't that unfortunate? There's another one doing it. It's like a rain, a rain of lava pouring out of the different planets. Now, we had our first impact on I Wish I Was Lonely Again. And it jumped right up to, oh, 5,000 degrees Celsius. Okay, everyone's starting to impact the planet now. They're getting way too close. Yep, there's another impact right there. We're gonna have pock marks. I wanna see what this planet looks like after everyone is done running into it. We just had another planet run into it. Pretty sure another one ran into it. There goes another one right there. That was a particularly large explosion. Lots of mass getting absorbed, okay? This is not nice. Don't think that we're the only ones being attacked, by the way. All over the place, Earth are going absolutely ballistic and running into one another. Oh, what a weird look at this. Whoa, what just happened? What just happened? We got shot out of the solar system. The Earth got shot out of the solar system at a tenth of the speed of light. So the Earth is leaving. The Earth has had enough, okay? It's been doing this for a while now. It's like, look, Gray, bro. I, I need a minute. This is not the same color of the earth right now. <laughs> I love how the earth here is like totally red and the earth here is just kind of like a misty blue. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let the earth cool off. There we go. Oh, the earth is, let me, put a, let me shine a light on the earth. There we go. Looks fine now. Yeah, the earth's temperature is coming down. Everything's gonna be fine. The, uh, the composition, how many people could possibly be alive right now? Nobody, but the similarity is going up. A lot. Uh, the problem is now it just got way too cold because there's no sun for it to orbit around anymore. I love how the overarching temperature of the Earth is negative 170 to negative 170, but this negative 170 is a different color. The Earth is currently covered by 3.24 kilometers of ice. In case y'all were wondering, the, the sun now has like this very, very kind of cordial relationship with all the rest of the Earths. They murdered their biggest, oldest brother, and now everyone's fine. Everyone's enjoying their time around the sun. No joke, beautiful. Average temperature on the planet, these tiny little Earths, perfect. The life likelihood went up. Well, I guess it turns out that for everyone to get along, all they had to do was just murder the original Earth. Isn't that nice? Anyway, folks, hope you this episode of Universe Sandbox. Until the next time, stay foxy, a bunch of love.